Hey everybody, welcome to the Bandit Let's Make a Animated Short Stream. Wow, this is weird. So now the stream is running a little bit behind. So the stream doesn't actually start when I start it. Okay, well, anyway, we're live, so that's the thing that matters. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Let's make an animated short presented to you by Cedric from Bandite. Uh, today we'll be refining the character a little bit more, character, uh, face rigging, a little bit shading, texturing. Uh, we'll see how far we'll get. Um, do leave a like or a comment down below. Ask questions in the chat if you want to ask something. I'll respond as fast as possible. Keep in mind that there is, is a slight delay of 10 seconds or something, 10-15 seconds from the stream to uh, from you reading your message directly responding in. So I'm not ignoring you. Uh, my Patreon is in the description if you want to check that out. Um, if you want to support this channel even more. Uh, or leave a super chat or anything if you want to do that. But it's entirely up to you. Uh, but all the support is welcome. Okay. So, I did some research on bandy bones. And uh, I did some things wrong. <laughs> so, I was kind of weirded out by how this rotation works here, right? Uh, let's go in here and disable our uh, subdivision for a second. Yeah. By ha, ah, this doesn't really work well and stuff. So I kind of, I kind of went too much out on a limp um, with making these bones. I went a little bit too fast. So the eye bones are fine. Uh, the eyes, they, they work fine. We can leave them as this. That he's blinking. So that's uh, that's something. That works. We can close his eyes. We can open his eyes. So that looks fine. That, that all looks fine and dandy. But uh, I don't have enough control over the um, with the actual uh, shapes here. So there's two things I actually want to implement before uh, we redo these bones. So of course, first things first. Uh, we're going into the bone here. Also, I'm gonna shut off these bones. There we go. Um, maybe it should MSB bones, so we can uh, change their size. There we go. Uh, yes. And let me put on my screencast keys. All right. So, how is everybody doing? Good. Good. Yes. Yes. So. I want to enable these bendy bones, which, like, seeing now, are way out of way out of line. They're not behaving, so I'm just gonna delete these. Um, so another thing I want to do is actually hide the hair, so we can fully focus on the face here. Um, so bendy bones, uh, we want to. If we add a bendy bone, so we added a new bone here, I think. Is this a new bone? Yes, this is a new bone. Uh, we actually want to rotate this bone. So this is the thing I didn't do last time because I, I didn't think it really mattered, but it does matter. So I kind of want to, I kind of want to put this here, right? And I want to just extrude. I'm also going to check if these are on the correct here. And we're gonna uh, add a couple of bendy bones to actually um, be able to uh, shift other pieces of the face. Hey, Asgard, how are you doing? Finally made it. Yeah, I'm just in time to start the stream. Welcome. So I'm just gonna call this bone, uh, let's say, CTRL, because this is a control bone, so let's keep our naming intact. Uh, I think I might have been a little bit tired last stream or kind of frustrated with uh, how everything was going. So I didn't really pay attention to my naming there. And I'm going to call this eyebrow dash uh, L dash. And I'm going to call this root because this is the root of the bendy. Let's call this bendy root. All right. And uh, the layer one, we're going to call bendy uh, end. And this one, we're just gonna call the bendy bone. And this is not a control bone, so we, 
leave the control out there. So, um, and what we want to do the end bone. We want to actually. Um, uh, my camera is way up again, by the way. <laughs> Sorry for that. I, I still have to get used to um, streaming with a camera. Uh, yes, so bendy bone. We actually want to put this on, let's say, five. Yeah, that's fine. So I already see here that he's kind of rolling, and that's because the, the base here is on 90. We'll almost put it on zero. That's fine. So now. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Now, in edit mode, we want to kind of uh, adjust this to fit the eyebrow. So we're just going to go um, just a little bit of a curve in on the x-axis, of course on the y-axis, and then the out, also like this. We kind of want to shape this perfectly uh, as it were on the eyebrow. So it's a little bit too much out. So. Um, like this. Good. Uh, and then this last one, I want to clear the parent. Uh, that does change some stuff here. So I'm going to readjust a little bit here. There we go. That fits. All right. Uh, but then in edit mode, I do want to add a stretch to constraints to the uh, eyebrow bendy and yes to the control so if i move this it actually uh, and now if i rotate this this will make way more sense see this um, and i can even in uh, so another thing maybe you want to do is put the in edit mode, of course. I don't think it makes a difference for the start handle and the end handle, but so root and end. There we go. All right. So now, if we go into pose mode, let me actually just, and then we can actually pose this as we want. And then, if everything is, is skinned correctly, then we should be able to fully have full control over that part of the face. Uh, of course, we're gonna apply this to some other parts. So I'm just gonna go grab these three bones and uh, duplicate them. And I'm actually gonna delete the uh, bones for the cheek here because we're gonna give this a little bit more of a natural look. Uh, I wanna keep in mind, if we're going to wireframe mode, that if I move this bone, uh, that I moved, there we go. So now it just moves together. Uh, yeah, look deaf. I uh, just want this to be aligned correctly with the cheekbone. Um, yes, and this goes automatically. All right, and then what we do in edit mode, of course, again, is um, align this to the actual cheekbone. So I'm just gonna go very rough now. There we go. I wanna do want to rotate this a bit. So it kinda aligns also with the wireframe. That'll make things Hello Alexandra Pinto. Alexander, uh, how you doing? Uh, thanks, yeah, it's starting to look real nice. So I'm just gonna align this with these curves. Like, there we go. All right. I realize now that I do have to, uh, I'm gonna disable the cheek things for now, okay. And of course we need to add, cause he didn't copy the bone constraints, stretch to, uh, uh, yeah, we have to rename them, of course. So this one, uh, remove the dot zero zero one, and this will be the cheek. Yeah. There we go. And this will be the bandy end, and this will be just the bandy. 
Look at that. <laughs> hey, Scott33, hello, how you doing? Um, all right. So now uh, we can also in pose modes. Oof, something went wrong here. Oh yeah, we still have to put the constraints on the correct end here. The cheek end, there we go. So now this should... Um, this should help us like lift the cheek up if he smiles uh, with this controller. Or maybe if, if we wanna... Yeah, if we, yeah, if we kinda wanna put some extra muscle for like the, these things that move, they, they don't move really down, so it doesn't really make sense. They, they move up, so the most uh, thing we're gonna do is like move this up and down. And then it's with each uh, bone segment and the bendy bone is gonna move it up a little. So that's very nice. All right. Um, uh, now I'm thinking. So that still leaves the mouth, right? We still kind of want to deform the mouth uh, with bones. Um, and let's think here, right? We kind of want to uh, want to be able to purse the lips and stretch them out. <laughs> purse and stretch. Um, but we also want to be able to move them separately. So if our chi uh, if our jaw is not moving, that we can still move our lips. We don't need to actually uh, put in too much detail because um, I think the biggest emotion he does is like open his mouth, like kind of in fear. Um, uh, or um, the other, what else does he do? Like he opens his mouth in fear, he smiles, um, and he kind of has like an annoyed look at some point. But he never actually does complex stuff with his mouth. Um, so I think a lot of expression goes around the eyes. So paying a lot of attention to that, uh, yeah, is is important. And I think the mouth is secondary to that. Or is there still the issue of the jaw? Which we have to fix. In the uh, in the X rotation, it kind of already looks okay. Um, but yeah, there is the issue of does a lower uh, lip move with the jaw or not, or do we put something automatic in that, or do we catch that ourselves in animation? Um, so. Uh, one more bone I am gonna add though. In edit mode, of course, I'm gonna uh, just gonna make one here. Clear the parents. Actually, put the X on zero here, so it's nice and centered. I'm just gonna move this to the nose. So I just want an extra bone for the nose, so that we can maybe uh, move the nose a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, I'm now thinking of like the emotion of maybe want to move this, uh, what did I actually, oh no, this is the, uh, I just want to move this one a little bit down just so that, that we can really lift this up when we need to, it's a little bit trial and error and we're going to see if it works. Hopefully it works. Now the mouth, the move, the move, the move. Uh, yeah, so what we want to do, I think we also want to use bandy points for this. <laughs> I kind of want to use bending points for this. Um, I see what happens, right? So, but I think the thing that uh, kind of went wrong last time is that I uh, saw the saw the root bone as as a deformation bone, which of course was wrong. 
Um, so I'm going to call this mouth upper L bendy root. There we go. And this. Oh, yeah, I want to move this with the root. I want to move to this corner here. And just really quickly reset all these values. I kind of want the tail to end on x0 so that we actually end in um, uh, so I've actually start and end with the lips right and I think that's pretty fine as this we could do to a little bit whoops a little bit adjusted the in y and then the out a little bit down again now we'll maybe help the curvature a little bit. Uh, so I'm also going to call this mod upper bendy. And this one should be called bendy end. Uh, bendy end. There we go. Very good. And by the way, listening to... <laughs> Welcome to Radio Banda. Today we're listening to Heroic Mix. The adventure begins. Um... And I think hmm, uh, if we now move in post mode, oh yeah, we need to and oh no, wait, we just need to reset, I think. Yeah, there we go. This time it took the uh, so we can actually give the mouth a smile here and move his ch uh, cheekbone a little bit up. We can combine these two controls to actually get some realistic. Um, Yeah. So the issue was, if we um, go into edit uh, edit mode, there you go, and we symmetrize this, which you know didn't do. Hello. Are we simmer? No, that didn't work. How much? Uh, symmetrize. Okay. Hello. That didn't work, did it? No, no, there's no right side. Okay. Does it still work? No. Wait, I think I know why. Oh boy. Yes. Okay, so this is the most. We have to, yeah, that's mistake I made so we have to put the L at the end so L there we go and we're gonna have to do this for everything I know this but yet I still forgot otherwise uh, blender can't uh, catch what is actually on the left and what is on the right uh, question from Scott question about clothes if you go for a more realistic look are you doing them inside blender or I just got marvel design and having tons of fun then what about animate them? Also inside model design. Uh, if you go for a realistic look and if you want to your clothing to move realistically and actually have a cloth feel, model design is a great program. However, it's not a free program, uh, so I am kind of forbidden by the rules of this challenge to actually do that. Um, the way we did its clothes is just uh, these clothes are just. On the mesh and I don't think they need even need um, cloth simulation I don't think there will be enough moving around that that we can justify having realistic I mean it will just take too much time for the little we gain from it the jacket is another story uh, we will be adding some physics some cloth physics within blender to it uh, but they also be it, it will be mostly the cape and um, when he's running for the rest of the short we don't really we, we will do a little bit of tweaking a little bit of animating uh by hand to kind of beautify it but we we're not gonna we're not gonna do marvelous design uh but i know it's a ton of fun i've tried it out uh it's very fun actually um i'm kind of annoyed by this i think my ah normals of my eyebrows were inverted that's weird 
That's very weird. All right. So. Hmm. No, okay. Just wondering something. All right. So. We need to also here put L at the end. There we go. How exciting stuff! Dum dum dum. I'm listening to epic music. Um, Dave loves to do that. Um, he just listens to epic music all the time. We we went like Dave, the other guy from the channel. Um, <laughs> just, uh, we went once for a social meeting and like a couple of friends just hanging around. But in the background, there was a super epic music uh, playing. It was a it was an epic afternoon. So now we just want to copy these down here. I actually don't want to move it that much because the lips are pretty close together. But we did pick, I kind of do want to pick the middle of the bone here. Uh, I do want to be careful that I don't move them in the, oh, no, the tail is still on X zero. Okay, that's good. And I think I might even delete this bone and actually take the uh, the same bone here and also in the constraints stretch to where is it so the core because the corner of the map is just one it, it's just always one position it's gonna ease up the animation a little bit so we're gonna go to rig boy oh come on there we go why is it not Oh, because I'm not in bone constraints. Okay. My mistake. Uh, rake boy. There we go. And, then, and I still need to rename my bones here. And the end reset. Oh, that's a cheek. No, no, no. Um, oh, come on. Bendy and mud upper. And then reset. There we go. So now we kind of hope that this will make a little bit more sense. I think we can kind of adjust as well in edit mode here. Um, three. Yeah. Kind of want no difference between the two. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm just gonna. Okay. So we just need to. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I forget, forget, suddenly just forget uh, shortcuts. <laughs> Not sure why this happens, but um, I kind of want to move them to the center of the lips. Whoops. And let's not forget that I can. Why am I doing this in post mode as well? So a little bit up. Sometimes I'm too, like a little bit too sketchy. Okay, thanks, as for my own knowledge. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, um, how I would like do realistic clothes, it really depends. Uh, you always have to consider, and just take some experience, I guess, with both programs. You always have to kind of consider the uh, investment of time versus gain. Uh, oh, there we go. So actually, there we go. It's about the shape of the lower lips. Um, because, um, yeah, otherwise, uh, you're kind of, it, it really depends. It's, <laughs> it goes from project to project. What is your experience? Is it doable in the, in the pipeline is a project big enough to kind of um, the money investment and time investment because setting up marvelous design it's pretty easy and importing exporting animation it goes pretty fine and everything you can just um, export animation from blender to marvelous put in some uh, cloth uh, animate it bake the animation put it back in blender render it all out i'm not too experienced with the pipeline uh, but i've seen it done before uh, so yeah, 
But the thing I kind of want to do now here, um, I'm first going to symmetrize these. So I'm going to check if my uh, so mouth lower bandy L. That's good. And mouth lower bandy root. No. Okay, and then bandy, bandy, and this is this is just a mouth corner, we can call it. Alright. Uh, okay, so object mode. So now uh, in add mode. I kind of want to select all of these. There we go. Armature symmetrize. And already some things went horribly wrong. It might be that uh, for the x values, you actually need to take oops, take the uh, opposite values. Oh wait, I, I know what went wrong. I forgot to select one bone, or I forgot to name this one. Yes. So it didn't take it with him. So now I'm gonna check how much uh, symmetrize. Oh, no, and that works perfectly. That's all fine and dandy. So the thing I wanna, wanna do now is uh, select one of the middle ones here. They should be aligned perfectly. And press uh, extrude Z. And I wanna clear the parent. And then I wanna select these two bones and parent them keep offset to this bone what this will do is actually give us one bone that will uh, seems like the constraints didn't copy that will um have the entire upper lip right uh so we're gonna go in here to bone constraints i'm gonna say stretch two and it's gonna be the no not the boy body to the rake boy dash rake um Rig, hello, rig boy. Oh, sorry, the other way around. <laughs> and then corner, and my corner R, reset. There we go. Uh, and I'm just gonna go see if I can copy constraints to select the bones. There we go. Just press reset. Uh, so now we can move this around. And we want to do the same in edit mode with the lower part. Here we go, extrude uh, Z. We're also going to move this up. Um, and I'm just going to select the two bones here. And I'm going to keep offset but make parents with control P. And then also now I can uh, move the lips like I would want them to and, I, and we see that the bones are working they, they give a result that is satisfying the only thing maybe for the smile uh, to make the smile a little bit more easy doable the only thing we could do because um, we could animate this right we could uh, go in here and then in the bendy bone actually in the animation we could uh, check the curve in or the y like we can pull it down could do that and probably we will do that um, but what we probably will want to do a little bit more is actually pulling this down so the curve in actually instead of going up to go down a little bit I'm gonna copy this value and I'm gonna just paste it here and although this doesn't really follow the shape of the mouth and I just uh, pull it a little bit up I think it's gonna be better for. What am I doing? What am I? Uh, I think it's gonna be better for uh, if we actually move the the corner up for smiles and such. And if you rotate this, we can make him look sad pretty easily. All right? So we can open the mouth then. Oops. With the uh, can rotate it. Yeah, and this looks pretty, pretty fine, pretty dandy. So, um, and I think that's that's about it for the the bandy bones part of the face. Although, <laughs> everybody hide. I'm saying although uh, we could 
added for the jaw if you want to have more expressive jaw uh, movements, like if you want to squish and squash his face maybe a little bit. We could that with bendy bones. Um, but I, I, I think we just want to do that with um, with like a single bone just to... Uh, and we don't we don't want to overdo the squash and stress. We don't want to make it look like a uh, silly cartoon, like a wang. Uh, their face like squishing all the way around. We don't want to make this look like a healthy cartoon. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, thanks for the likes, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, so now what we want to do is take the bandy bones. Uh, and the center ones that are parented here. Take these bendy bones and these ones. Uh, and we actually want to put these. Um, let's see what we have here. I want to put this at the end of these because it might be that we need them for animation. But now we can just have these. We will we'll be putting controls on those. Um, but then that'll move neatly. All right. So uh, what we're, what we are gonna do is in the bone settings, and I should have done this beforehand, so that would have saved us a lot of time. But I'm just gonna go and uncheck deform for these bones. I'm actually gonna enable this layer. Um, yes, go in the bone settings because I also want these not to deform. So that way Blender knows uh, if we um, with the weight paints and stuff that we don't need to worry about these bones. So this one is, and yeah, if you if you do this from the beginning, I think I actually lost some constraints here. Then you don't need to do this for all the bones. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, and one thing that we need to add again is the stretch to, to the rig of the boy break boy and to the eyebrow bendy and r I can press reset just for good measure and stretch to uh, the rig boy eyebrow oops bendy and dash l so now we just check this uh, this is actually already um, Parented because we called it the same thing. Can actually make the eyebrows bigger. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, about the eyebrows, we are gonna adjust some things. We we'll just go here. We can make them kind of angry. Kind of pull this up. And now we see that this actually, if we rotate it, it it's gonna work a lot better. Um, but yeah, there are some things you want to adjust with this. Um, namely, we're going for a very short period to go back into modeling because I have decided that I actually don't like the eyebrows being separated from the skin because I think it makes a lot of the, 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 the skinning and the weight painting more complicated than it should be. So what we're gonna do is... Um, and I'm happy we're doing this before we did all the texturing and stuff. Is uh, I'm gonna separate the eyebrows, right? uh, and then uh, we're not gonna make this too complicated. We're gonna select the vertexes. Uh, kind of gonna, hmm, yeah. I think I'm gonna put the viewport display of this on. Let's say viewport display on wire. Yeah, fair. Yeah, that's gonna do. And then we want to uh, put our X mirror on for modeling. Make sure we're not in a shape key. We are in a shape key. So go to back to our basis. Put in uh, a little proportional editing. And then we're just gonna move the uh, things here a bit. So we're just gonna decide. Um, what we're gonna take with us, and I think it's just gonna be as easy as one, two, three, da, 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 mm -hmm. taking these ones, all right, and we're just gonna extrude them. 
right? Uh, and then only um, I don't want to scale them. I'm gonna select only the outer ones. And then if I press GG, I can actually oops, inwards and I just gonna make it a little bit smaller again. All right. Oh yeah, and because extrude doesn't work with X mirror, which is a shame. We have to do this twice. <laughs> uh, well, we have to do this again. So we're gonna select exactly the same faces. Gonna extrude on the Y axis. I'm gonna put this like this. All right, and then, uh, then it doesn't matter anymore. As long as you don't make new faces, that's fine. Just want to select the outer edges. Uh, press GG, go inwards, go back a little bit. And then we have a little uh, heightened part here. And what we're really fast we're gonna do just to uh, have this correctly. I'm gonna select these again. Oh. Press Control Plus, and then check if we have the entire eyebrow with us. It seems about right. Go to Texture Paint. Uh, what am I saying? UV editing, and then grab these eyebrows and put them over the actual eyebrows? Question mark. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah, they're done here. So the V should be pretty fine. It's just the colors now at the moment. So I should have scaled them together. Yeah, that would have been better. And they have the exact same scale. This one here. And since it's still a flat color, I'm not worried about uh, Yeah, all the stuff. So now, uh, now we can put this one in the hidden objects. So that's the old eyebrows. And this one still looks kind of blocky. Uh, and you'll see more um, uh, more stuff is gonna pop up once we... Uh, uh, hello, Amar. Uh, morning, yeah. How you doing? How's everybody doing? I'm happy. I'm, uh, I'm making some changes in my life, like bandy bones. <laughs> Uh, uh, YouTube update the subscribe button and the text display under the video title. I have not noticed all of the changes yet, but those are what I noticed so far. Yeah, there's some changes. YouTube is kind of playing around. I don't like the font and the way they are displaying titles at the moment. But I mean, it's Google. Uh, we'll just have to trust them, I guess. I think I'm gonna... Move these down a little bit more. Just have a nice. And then we can actually use the uh, the mesh data to define our eyebrows further. So like this, so it's a little bit sharper, All right? And then here we can make this a little bit rounder. There we go. It looks fine. Um, so yeah. So now that these are part of this, uh, this will make it a lot easier. Of course, we kind of have to, oh my God, let's go back to layout. Kind of have to, in our bones, also make sure that our bandy bones in edit modes still kind of align with the eyebrow. So we're gonna readjust some stuff here. I'm just gonna put on my X mirror so that everything is adjusted on both sides. Uh, let's go to look dev. Um, I don't think this property actually, no, that's too bad. Inherit end rule. Huh. What's the difference in that? Oof. I really do want that. What's the difference, uh, difference when, when we turn it off? Nothing. Okay. Not gonna worry about it then. So, kind of want to adjust. 
uh, everything a little bit more. So it's kind of looking around and seeing if things are uh, it's too much. And then the X and it's a little more. And then the in, I kind of think that's fine. And the Y, push up the Y a bit more, push the Y a bit down here. So that kind of fits. Uh, hello, David Bura, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, they moved the subscribe next to the channel name as it well. It threw me up and then there's yeah, big change. They are, I think they just implemented now, um, is that also you can't see the subscriber count anymore. You can just see like so many K, uh, subscribers. Yeah, we're already at 10 viewers today. That's awesome. You guys want to, uh, you guys want to share it around a bit, get more people in. That would be nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, just a short call uh, call to action. Um, if you want to support this channel, share it uh, with friends that might find this interesting. Um, like the video, of course. Subscribe. Um, hit the bell button so you get notified for the next stream and all that goodness. All right, so I see something is happening here. Oh yeah, so first thing we want to do now is copy the this data to other side so it's too bad that it actually doesn't take and I think we have to for the Y go negative All right nope we, for the X we have to go negative <laughs> right I okay, gotta make sense actually so here it's negative I'm gonna put it positive there we go all right and then, of course, here we want to reset uh, our bunny bones so they align. All right. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I think I will try with bones today for a character I did three or four years ago. Yeah, or make a new character, you know. <laughs> uh, you can never have enough practice with uh, more characters. So I'm going to turn off our bunny bones here. Um... Uh, I might turn them on because we're going to skin them in a bit. So, yeah, we wanted to add... Um, I'm going to check my other bones here and I'm going to put them back on the octahedral. There we go. Um, what we could do... Um, because if we go into post mode and pick our head um, at the moment... Ah, it moves everything down. Why is that? That is weird. That shouldn't happen. That is weird. This should be parented, right? Connected. And this to this. Connected. Okay. Post mode. So, okay. So, yeah, now if I move, I can't really move it down. And uh, so you want it. I love how. <laughs> Part of the face just sticks. Um, uh, it is in a place so I can share, but don't forget to update it. That is true. I should not forget to update my. Because uh, sometimes it lags a bit behind, yeah. Uh, it's part of like managing the YouTube channel, and I still have to get into the habit of doing everything. I should make a to do list. So let me just go to my YouTube videos and. Uh, I can actually, huh, I can actually already add this part into it. That's cool. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, so now even this live stream is. I hope I didn't break the live stream now, but <laughs> but thanks. Uh, all right, so we've got our bones here. Look very nice. Uh, so what I wanted to do is. Uh, so now you, you, we can't move this up. So I'm pressing G to move, but I can't move down because, of course, it's all uh, on the spine. But what we want to do is um, actually is create um, a bone on top of this, which will we call, um, let's say, that's not the bone name. Let's say head um, head stretch. Let's just call it head stretch. 
Um, uh, if, if we can, we can also can't move this one down, right? Uh, and this is because we kind of want to unparent this. We want to clear parent. So then we can move it down in post mode. All right, so we can move this bone. But this bone, we want to stretch to the head stretch. Of course, to the rig boy. Boy. And then to the head stretch. And of course, the head stretch, I um, kind of want to rename because it's a control bone. CGRL, it's not going to deform anything. So in the deform settings, okay. So now, if you move this, we can actually. Dong, dong. <laughs> that is a hilarious bone to use. It's like. Dong, 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 dong. So, uh, the way we can use this is like if we kind of very subtly want to. Um, uh, over overdo his reaction right? um so now of course with the uh fall uh, with the broken skinning it's kind of hello there how are you doing <laughs> so yeah that'll help us uh and we're just gonna give this dsp rig head and just go to the same and it's gonna be up here uh yeah, for now, this is good. Right? If we have our head, we can... Uh, why can we not rotate our head anymore? Oh, because it's stretching to this, yeah. So... That might be a problem, actually. Um, if we change it... That might actually not be too big of a problem because we can just move our head here. Although, hmm. 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 Uh, now he's a boy monk. Yeah, no, I just hit the hair. Uh, yeah, so they, they definitely help for squash and stretch. Um, but it's not like for squash and stretch for if he's bouncing his head back and forward. But it's more for squats and stretch, um, for to amplify his emotions a little bit. Um, so have that little bit of touch like that. And uh, all right. So anyway, uh, what we kind of want to do now. Uh, yes, is go into weight paint. Go into the head. Uh, I kind of want to fix some stuff because I see. I kind of want to smooth out the uh, jaw stretch here a bit so that it goes a little bit smoother. There we go. Now, if we move the jaw down, yeah, and we still kind of want to delete it from the lips, of course. So, I'm just gonna go in here, strength zero. I'm actually gonna paint away. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is to my brush, um. Uh, where is it here? Brush settings, brush tools, stroke, fall off, no, so options. Um, x is on, it's good. There was a way I could ignore back facing, right? Can I just paint like this? Hmm. I don't know. Oh man, the math cap is doing weird stuff. Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, I'm still averaging. Who would. Yeah, okay, I was wondering why nothing was happening. No. Oh man. There we go. And yeah, that'll do. Can I average out here again? And then if we go into pose mode. 
so kind of see kind of heavy but once we uh, put in the lips that should be fine so let's see in our weight paint can we yeah so what we want to do what we want to try here is actually go into our shape keys uh, and I kind of want to check how I named these bones, uh, the bending bone set is in here, okay. And I'm gonna delete the mouth corner and the mouth, the earlier mouth bendy ones. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna redo these ones anyway, so yes. So let's add control mouth lower bendy. Uh, control mouth lower bendy R. Uh, wait, why is the control being added? Wait, did I not adjust the names correctly? I didn't. We never want this to be controlled. So that's that's the way we can see in the weight panes that we uh, might have vertex groups that we don't want to have by removing the control here. I thought I did that. How did that not? go true or did I only do that for the eyebrow yeah okay that was the issue so now in the vertex paint some mouth lower bendy uh, element that's just the name and then mouth upper bendy L and mouth upper bendy R and what we can do now is go into weight paint select it's the first one go to assign uh, weights and assign automatic from bones right. and that doesn't do anything great okay from envelopes ah there we go yes so now it take it, it takes it from the envelopes and we just want to do that oh so it automatically mirrors that uh, Envelopes. I think we kind of fetched up the name here. Mouth lower bendy L. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm confused. Mouth upper. So the upper is fine. Yeah, we just kind of have to adjust it, of course. Um, Alt Z. What does that do? I'm gonna save, by the way. I haven't saved in a long while. <laughs> hmm. We're doing weight painting. That's always a risky business. Uh, so I'm gonna save a new file, right? So. Just gonna check. Yeah, it's the correct name. Wait, assign automatic from bones, from envelopes. No, okay. Sure. Just gonna have a couple of. Uh, also, I'm gonna. Okay, how are these suddenly? Oh wait, yeah, I still have my temporary smile on. Oh, okay, so that was a problem. Ooh, that's not good. I receive we have probably already eyebrows, but that's very easy, easily fixable. Um, so we're gonna check here what we need from the shape keys. We're gonna remove the the cheek ones because we can now use the bendy bone to control that. Um, let's remove the eyebrow ones. Let's just remove the smiles for good measure and just keep the eyelids. Uh, so what's going to happen he here, because we added new um, new mesh data, it just went a little bit funky on the shape keys. But that's not a big bother because we're just going to select everything here that shouldn't be moving. 
Uh, right. Maybe we can go one lower. Let's make sure everything here is. I mean, I'm just gonna make sure. All right. So that should do. And these ones don't really matter. But then we can do blends from shape and disable add. Yeah. Okay. Then we go out of edit mode. Go into edit mode. Shift R. No, that didn't work. Oh yeah, because now these actions are also added. Um, so what we want to do is uh, blend from shape again. Looks good. Out in blend from shape out in and this is because we made some changes on along the way and that's just how things are and then normally if you now move the edits up and down they work as we expect them to uh, i think it's still um why is this yellow am i animating no hmm, weird all right okay up. all right so what I want to check. So what we have to do now in edit mode, we're gonna, uh, again, just focus on the face and the bendy bones. So the thing I did wrong, but that's not too big of an issue, is we kind of have to move our stuff down here, where the actual mouth is, huh? the actual mouth corner, all right? And then we have to uh, adjust. Uh, although I think it's it's pretty fine. If we just do it like this, a little bit further. In the right corner, it's it's here. It's a little bit further than where the mouth actually opens. We're just gonna put it here. Ah, should be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna go into uh, pose mode. Gonna really quickly check if you have to yeah, reset these. Yeah, kind of do. I don't really see that stuff is moving. So that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then, of course, uh, I wanted to check if the form is on. Yes. Just gonna check if the envelope. So I'm gonna go to my. Uh, I'll check if the envelope is big enough. Yeah. You can even adjust the envelope if you really wanted to. Um, uh, it's like, oh boy. Am I even pressing shift and dragging? This is kind of a pain. Um, point zero one. <laughs> But yeah, it looks fine. So if we go into weight paint and we select our mouth lower, weight, it's like automatic from bone. There we go. Now we're having something. Uh, it's from envelopes. Automatic doesn't seem to work. So we're gonna go just go from envelopes. Oh, come on, you just did it. Don't, oh, come on. Uh, it's mouth upper, it does seem to work. Weights assigned from bone envelopes. There we go. There we go. So now, uh, I'm gonna split my view. Oh, he looks so sad now. Oh, I'm gonna look sad from down here. It's weird. Uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna viewport display as B bones but in here. I'm just gonna do this. And then I'm just gonna check. So we kinda already see this is kinda doing what we want, but we of course have to fix the 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 the, the bone. The bone. So what we wanna do. So I'm gonna select an upper vertex here. I'm just gonna press Ctrl plus and then it was a bit too high. So I'm gonna select the lower one. This is gonna select, so in our wireframe mode, I might go like too lower. 
The thing I want to do is select everything from the upper lips. There we go. Right? And then we go to the lower and we just gonna just gonna move it. Right? Just gonna remove it from the lower bones. Okay, so just select these two, remove. Alrighty. Um I find uh okay. So, Amar says, I finally decided on two simple web animation series that will start working on as soon as I can finish figuring out how to do this game I am working on. Do you plan to convert this into a web series? No, no, it's just a one shot. Um, if it gets really popular, who knows? But uh, that's definitely not the, um, the intent. Um, there was a button where I could, because the thing I kind of want to do now and save before I um, I cannot be in one mode on one screen and in the other mode on the other screen can I I am gonna do a quick Google but I don't think that's possible um, be in different modes in different view ports blender No, that's not possible. Okay. <sighs> okay, but anyway. Uh, we'll figure this out. We're gonna go and weight paint. I'm gonna go to solid view here. I'm actually gonna remove the bones here. Uh, so I'm gonna disable bones in this view. Uh, I am gonna enable bones in this view, but I am gonna disable the extras? No. Where's the weight? Uh, oh. Huh. Oh, you could actually. Cool. Show weight contours. What is that there? Show wire. Hmm. Well, yeah, okay, so we're going to disable it here. Um, so just that we can. It doesn't really matter because we still have to go into. Uh, I'm just gonna open the mouth. Right? And we're gonna do a little extreme present this to work. Right? We want this to work. Uh, Scott, your message got retracted. What did you say? Did you say a naughty word? Don't say naughty words. Um, all right. So I'm just gonna go into weight paint. Uh, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do the opposite. So I might just do another control plus, control, and then press a control I for invert. Um, and then for the, uh, I'm just gonna deselect everything here. Although I, I don't think it matters at this point. And then for the upper, I'm gonna also remove the, the weight paints here, right? All right, uh, and now, oh man, I feel that we're so close. We're so close. Now we can kind of go in here, uh, use the average tool. And there's still some issues popping up, but we'll fix them in a second. Um, that's not working. Okay, why is that not working? Why is gonna save again oh yeah because my strength zone okay cool 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 so I'm just gonna very carefully blur this out it seems like the upper lip is kind of working I'm just gonna yeah but the lower one oh yeah it still needs a little bit more weight drawn to it so I'm just gonna go ever so gently select these and suddenly oh my god Things start coming together. The most horrifying experience yet. 
what is this? Okay, so just gonna paint here. I'm actually gonna start blurring everything out here. So it actually starts making sense. Okay. I am gonna go in object mode and hide the T for a second. So to see what's going on here. And actually gonna enable my wireframe. Hello. Where is the I just had options here, didn't I? Options. Huh. Weird. Didn't I have options for wireframe? Did I see that somewhere else? What am I seeing? <laughs> Deep questions. Uh, yeah, thanks, Scott. The strength was at zero. Uh, <laughs> um, in DDO. We're just gonna paint this. Uh, my strength is at one. So I should actually be. Huh, is my spacing. It normalizes off. Oh, here is the front faces. I always find stuff like. The thing I'm wondering about now. Uh, yeah, I don't want to paint the other side. It's like I'm adding stuff. Uh, I don't want to add. What is this? Oh, wait, here is the wings. I was looking wrong. Strength, one. Weight, one. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to blur this out. I'm just always blurring stuff. In. And the thing I want to do actually is remove any weight from the other side of the lip, right? <sighs> Strength, one. Uh, where's our weight now? Okay, weight. Zero. Okay. Uh, I actually kind of want to. This would be a little bit easier if we could actually see. Okay, so we do need to add like fifty percent of the weight to the middle ones. That's that's a bit normal. Um, and we're getting there. I'm just gonna do a check here. So we're just gonna go into post mode. And I'm just gonna unhide my teeth here. I think we kind of over the lips here. So if we now move this around, actually kinda. Him to smile. That starts to look great. <laughs> ah, good night, everyone. Hey, Tadu two, Tadu two, Tado two. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Leave a happy message. So I'm actually gonna check how this looks with the um, subdivision on. Uh, so this this starts to look really good. So we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And I think what sh really shows now is that my front teeth might go a little bit more to the front. Yeah. Just a little bit. And I think my, not even the whole mesh, but just if you go into wireframe mode, uh, put on proportional editing, like this. There you go. All right. So what else can we do with this? Um, so obviously, you have to kind of smooth out a lot of stuff. I'm kind of checking if we could purse his lips a little bit. Oof. That still needs a little bit of work. I think if we kind of rotate this. Oh no, it's a. That is a, uh, a firm no on the kissy lips. Although, 
Uh, I think if I put some more time into this, it could work. And if we go actually check the bones out, right? Kind of see, we still have like this. I think the weight painting might still be a bit off. I'm going to go into here, weight painting of the upper bendy. And I'm going to go weight one. I'm just going to paint the entire lip here. All right. And then I'm going to go weight zero. And I'm actually going to paint everything zero that is not on that side of the lip. All right. I'm going to put it on 0.5. That's exactly 0.5. And then I'm going to check the wireframe. I'm going to disable my uh, thing here again. And I'm going to everything in the middle get exactly 0 0.5. Right? Go object mode. A little bit to front. And of course, you want to kind of want to weight paint again. We kind of want to lower the effect that it has on uh, these. Uh, but it does have an effect. Because the thing we kind of also want to adjust here is the uh, the upper things here. It's also going to kind of stretch along. So the second bone, um, before we can really test this out to the full uh, to its full potential, because now. There's still something happening here. There's still something happening that shouldn't be happening. So I'm gonna go check in here. Is it the maw? Uh, the jaw? The maw? The maw? Mm, not really. No. 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 It's because this is being a thing. Huh. really matter, right? Oh, it should. I, I guess. Yeah. So we actually want to remove the weights from his face uh, where we're gonna put the um, the other bones. So eyebrows as well. Just gonna go single out so we don't see the rest here. And just his face. We're gonna check out of the, uh, the weight painting for the head. I'm really gonna blur it out a bit. So nice and smooth. All right. Uh, okay. Inside of the mouth. Oof. And there's a. I've gonna dive into here. Let's go full screen and put our clip start. Hello. Is this the inside now? Uh, what we can do is actually just paint here, press periods, and then if we zoom in, go straight inside the mouth. All right. And from the inside, we destroy it from the inside, brothers. We can just. <laughs> Oops. No, no, head. Uh, kind of want to keep. Can look at it from the outside as well. Okay. And in here, we still see some weights assigned to it, also our eyelids. Uh, where does options go? Wait, I just had it. Come on. Uh, why do I always forget where these options were? Yeah, so there is the overlays button. Yes. No, no. 
Um, huh. Doesn't really matter. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, object mode. All right. This is kind of like uh, now only. So I think I uh, also want to do an edit mode, right? This, if we have our hat, oops, hat enabled, we want to select these four and parent them. To the head. Yes. All right. Okay, so now our no spoon. No, no, don't play. Oh, no, don't play. I pressed Alt. We want other bones to, of course, uh, adjust it. So I'm just gonna do away with the other viewport. It's kind of distracting. Uh, let's see here. Um, so we want to disable this layer again. And uh, in post mode, no, in object mode and then in weight paint mode, uh, we're actually gonna give the opacity back. Um, we want to, uh, first I want to check this bonus name, it's a cheap bendy, okay, it's pretty straightforward, uh, okay, weight paint, I'm gonna add a vertex grip, I'm gonna save by the way, uh, the cheek bendy, ow, and I'm also gonna add, so that the mirror works, R, good, and now on the L, I'm just gonna go weight, Assign automatic from envelope. And it didn't work. But maybe for this one we can just um, paint it on there. There we go. So we want to be careful around the eye. We don't want to take the eyelids with us. But what we do kind of want is also take part, so like 50% of this area with us. That if you move the mouth, it affects this area, but also this affects the area, and we can kind of um, use that. So, normally, the other side is also weight painted. All right, let's go and test this. So, it actually doesn't look too bad. Now, our mouth should around the area be a little bit more. I think like the thing you want to do here is maybe rotate it and I, I, I don't think I'm gonna let's see here. Oof. Okay, so uh wait paint. Save the bones. Let's go to blur round. Uh strength. And let's make this a lot smoother. Let's right. uh, enable our bones. thing is what I'm so weirded out about, right? Huh. 
<laughs> what if we just use bone envelopes? I don't know. <laughs> Is I get why why this happens, right? It's because there's no other bone with a weight assigned to it. So is the easy solution for this just to go into the head and assigning a little bit to, of weight to it, like this? Slowly, I think that's just a solution, but then it's even littler, like, like let's say point 0.1. Let's control Z this for now. So just for right from the beginning. Okay. Because uh, that's weird. I'm not the only one that thinks that's weird. I, I think like even if there's no other single bone, I think if it has 0.2 of the weight, it should affect the vertex 0.2. <coughs> Time it's it's if if the bone moves um, one unit uh, on the x-axis, if a vertex has 0.2 of a weight, it should move 0.2 to that. But it doesn't seem to be working like that, and I'm I'm so weirded out by that. It just distributes the weight over everything that's weighted on it. But that that doesn't make sense to me because now I have to find other bones to actually check how much influence this has on each single bone relative to... I guess it could work like that. But it, 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 it does make sense for me. And I, I think what they did now is a lot more complex than what, what it should actually be. Um, I'm just gonna hope I find my... Yeah, so let's just go into wireframe mode, single this out. I'm just gonna go in here again. Uh, seam, yeah, select everything here. And poof. Actually, select, deselect things here. There we go. This is part of the head. So we can go to the head. Head. There has to be a search function here. Head, yes. And assign a weight to one. Right? Didn't I not? Oh, whoops. I'm assign one, yes. But now, in in the actual uh, bones, where are my bones? I have a single. Um, if I would would move something, it only moves half of the way because this is also one, and then it distributes it equally between the two ones, which I get, I get the logic behind it, but it doesn't make sense from a rigging and skinning standpoint, I think, because, like, let me, let me just put up an example here, right? If I have a monkey, and, and maybe it's because how the bones work, because all the bones seem to be affecting something, uh, and I add a single bone. Right, well, let's put it next to it. Uh, with empty grips. Let's say I weight paint this. Come on, oh, come on. Weight paint this uh, with the bone selected. Then normally I put this on one and I put this on a half, right? So this vertex is on one, this vertex is on a half. But still all the bones move with the same uh, bone with it but you get correct feedback uh, yeah so the way they pre uh, presume this should be fixed is that oh yeah okay um, you have to have this other bone right? so it's probably gonna be called bone.001 
Um, and this also has 50% of that. And now the other one only moves 50% of what, uh, and, and moves 50% with this one, right? That's correct. But you constantly need to have a counter. And I think maybe, maybe I, I'm just, maybe I'm just the only person in the universe that thinks this, but, uh, but there is this feature that's called like normalize all groups. Now we just, we just killed off, <laughs> killed off the other one. So, wait, normalize. Okay. So now normally, if I go to the head, it normalized it. So this is the way you do it. Just select, wait, normalize. But it just normalized all of them. Now it no only normalized this one. And normalized all of them. They do that for the other side as well. Normalize. Normalize all. Because that seems as a. I mean, sure, that may make sense. But I'm never gonna admit it. <laughs> um, and cheek, like if we would also normalize this, man. And this kind of makes sense. I think man, this should be a little bit less, right? especially here. I don't think it should affect stuff down here. But then normalize, get it done, normalize all. And then if we go into Still looks like sh still looks terrible <laughs> because our weight paint now is kind of wrong right because what we actually want to have okay so i i'm starting to get this now so i was never a fan of weight painting but i think i'm starting to get it now is if we have Because the way the bendy bones work is also it's gonna be like it's gonna bend everything correctly, right? But the thing it should be bending more so we have two relative bones talking with each other. Sorry if I'm boring you with all this technical talk, <laughs> but what that means that we should should simply add a gradient, and I'm gonna save because this is gonna make a blender crash. And we just want to have it harder on the corner. I'm just going to try that again. With V, I can actually see the vertex, so that's nice. And actually, but am I painting? No. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. And then we can do weights, normalize, and weights, normalize all. And normally, th that would make that mouth corner a lot more natural, right? Or at least it should. Yeah, because with the bending bone, we, we, we want the entire bending bone on the lips to be strength one, because we want the bending bone to affect the entire lip. Huh? Oh man, I miss the days where I could move, move the bones in weight paint. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, yeah, I want, I want it like this. Huh? Weight paint. 
want the ellipse to go the entire menu bar. Huh? Except no, nothing on this side and only halfway yeah, perfectly on this side. This is also implies stuff for like symmetrical bones that, that touch each other, right? And I'm just gonna go in here and blur everything because Jesus Christ, what is happening here? Uh, and then we just normalize all and then it should like start to get fixed because Although what it does, if you go to the right one, and it does the same. And then the head. Okay, so although it's symmetrized, we need to do the same here. Okay, so normalize. Uh, normalize all, sorry. Okay. All right. And actually, increase the weight painting. Um, yes. So that did kind of make sense. Right? So you want to be technically be able to do this with the lip ring. Oh man. <sighs> yeah, yeah, Kia. So we got the bunny bones to work. How are you doing? Welcome to the welcome to the stream. It's awesome. Yeah, the Benny modes kind of work. So we found a new system. If you want to check that out, play the video back. Um, <laughs> but um, yes. And then I kind of had some weight painting that kind of worked, but it, it wouldn't have worked um, the way I was sending it out. Because I am so weirded out how weight painting works uh, at the moment. And that, um, I mean, this doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> so if you just want to blur between everything that's here, and just say like, okay, blur that, blur that. I mean, I, I, I don't actually want it to affect down here because now we see what's happening um, because of it. I'm just gonna say weight zero. I'm actually gonna, whoops. I think I should smudge to one be better for this. So I'm just gonna go and smudge, smudge, smudge the weights away. So my new diet plan, smudge the weights away. And I think like we can actually also smudge up here. So it kind of affects more of this, right? And weights normalize all, and then everything gets Cheek, yeah, but then the cheek, like, I uh, say, so like, nah, nah, nah. Uh, let's let's have the cheek still. Oh, come on, let's have the cheek still a little bit like this, and then I do wait, normalize all. Then it's just clashing like crazy. And then we've got the head, the head is not even affecting these bones anymore because they're affected by these bones, and that kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, only that I think every adjustment I do now, if there's something somewhere I'm weight missing, hey, if you guys, Kumar, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, oh, okay. Well, I did promise some shading today, haven't I? So, what I'm gonna do is we got the bendy bones to work. So the good news is we got the bendy bones to work. So everything is like uh, moving the way it should. I think like even this will be super easy to do. Uh, let's maybe start with this. Um, let's add a group for the eyebrow bendy L, the eyebrow bendy R. Then we're going to weight paint and I'm just gonna weight paint, boom. I'm just gonna put this on weight one. And we want the entire eyebrow to move for this. And we kinda want a little bit of the brow moving with us. 
Okay, just gonna do one blur pause real quick. But I'm gonna make sure, so especially here, uh, I might brush away a little bit too much of the eyelid here. Yeah. And I'm gonna go back to weight. Uh, and then, you know what, we're just gonna normalize it. And then we're gonna normalize all, which is gonna make sure that our head is now without this. But you see, it only kinda did this for the other side, which is so weird. And I think this is because, oh, I know why. Because this is normalized. So he doesn't normalize, he normalizes it, but he doesn't normalize it for the other side. So, and that, that is so weird. I'm gonna bl blur this a little bit, right? And I'm just gonna normalize all again. And then if you look into the head, yeah, it's somewhat correct. Yes. And now you can actually, ooh, look at this. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna put him on, shade it. Ah, look at this. No. Oh. Look at how much nicer this looks now. So we still have some kind of issues like back here, some stuff moving that shouldn't actually be moving, but we can actually move our eyebrows pretty. Kind of reminds me of Ang. Okay, okay. Kind of look weird, kind of look kind of sad. And this gives us very much freedom at this point. Uh, I can rotate this around. Uh, let me fix the wig painting a little bit here. So yeah, we can can move it forward, of course. Uh, if you want to make him angry, that we kind of want to wait in the eyebrows a little bit more. Um, so this gives a lot of freedom. And then with our new uh, stretch bone, we can like. Oh yeah, we still have to <laughs> go into edit mode. Gonna select these and parent them to the head. Yes, very good. So now if we can actually make them look angry, sort of fix this to some degree, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this bone because rotating the head became like a lot, a lot worse. Okay. This, this is happening now and this shouldn't happen with the normalize all, right? Oh wait, no, this is my fault because I didn't parent these yet. <laughs> well, I was trying to blame the program, but uh, the only one to blame is myself. So now, if you rotate the head. Oh yeah, so it does rotate the entire head, so that's nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it looks fine. Uh. So these work. <laughs> it's just uh, the other ones that I'm kind of. Oh, that's creepy. This one still doesn't have any weight. So what I want to do is uh, also add a nose group and then just weight one, go like poof, um, paint the nose, like not too much of the nostrils, I guess. And I'm just gonna blur it a little bit. And yeah, there we go, that's cool. Although I think I want to have a little bit less on the bridge because the bridge is not really movable. Uh, something like this. Blur it a little bit here on the sides. Okay, there we go. And we want to normalize this and then we want to normalize all. Object mode. Uh, in edit mode, I want to parent this to the head and then uh, we have something to kind of emphasize some emotions, right? So if he's pulling his nose up, I think we, yeah, need a little bit more weight here. So 
what we're gonna do is whoops wait one we are gonna take a little bit more of the nose that was a bit too much All right. actually gonna start blurring it out after a nose which makes sense and although like a lot of people don't have the capacity to move their nose a lot of people do actually i can't i, ca I can move my nostrils uh pretty proud of that but the thing we can do with this is uh like if he's kind of like disgusted we can kind of emphasize it a little bit like just ever so slightly right uh we see that some more subtle things already start to work all right can pull this down pull this a little bit more down and be like uh, so we see that we slowly now gain a lot more emotion like we, we start to add uh, things that uh, kind of emphasizes emotion right uh, so we're going back in here and we're just gonna check with the cheek on the left side if we just cannot very simply blur a lot of this out to uh, gain a little bit more softness on this of course we want to normalize this and then we want to normalize everything and then with the uh yeah the more floor you can actually also kind of smooth out a bit um but with the yeah there we go went upper we actually maybe don't want uh whoops oh, brush don't want too much of the cheek with us so there we go and then not sculpt mode what am i doing uh object mode and then post mode whoops just want this to look correctly right oh, we kind of want to be able to move these two together so that you really get this this crease here um and that the smile is also like uh there's a little bit more volume created um with this so let's go into weight paint uh, we already see kind of what issues here are just gonna blur it out a bit and we don't want to forget that the marked corner should actually have some and it's the smudge tool to actually bring these weights more into the mouth corner so we're just gonna go in here uh, oops off upper I'm just gonna and then in the mouth lower kind of want to see that only the upper lip is adjusted and as we may pull a little bit more from down here all right and then kind of want to normalize all again uh, Oh, yeah, that's still lips aren't easy, um, especially because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of going inside and outside. I wish I knew where I found the button earlier to weight paint. Um, ah, here it is, but it's off. Hmm. Can you auto normalize? wonder if that works I want to save I don't wonder if something works and it mostly doesn't work okay like just start blurring it down right uh, okay I don't want to affect the middle a bit too much so, yeah it'll auto normalize with if I pull down too much of the uh, 
Oof. Let's single out. Focus on the mouth. Yeah. So we see here. Because we're trying to affect one place with two bones, basically, right? Um, let's just average everything here. Well, well, what happens if you average everything here? Right? Everything breaks, obviously. Ah, let's not do that. Um, Let's check this on the other side real quick. Alright. So yeah, we see here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, we don't want that. We don't want that. Uh, Mart corner is very iffy indeed. So we see now. The star gets, uh, the star gets, yeah. Hmm. Kind of want to come on, smooth out the weight pins here. Oh, oh man. One day we'll get there. <laughs> Pull them out very far. Right. Pull up in his move. That might actually do the trick. Um, let's actually see what's going on here. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to do this. Uh, I'm going to wait pain. Um, yeah. So we see here. Uh, we don't want this to be affected as much. Now we can effectively start blurring this out. It's gonna smoothen out just a little bit. So to remove the weight paints on the other side. Come on. Oof. There we go. It's like Donald Duck now. Um, yeah. I'm kind of. Oops. No, no. I want to blur out this as well. Oof. This is going to be hell of a ride. Uh, in between the love patience. Yes, indeed. Apparently, we do. something a little bit more drastic now I think for this point we're almost there right? it's like even <sighs> yeah if we're done a little bit how can I ignore like Like there is an option here that says where is it brush font oh all right it's normalize all okay sure I'm just checking my own face. In a very weird manner. 
Um, yeah. So maybe even want uh, this not to be as harsh as it is at the moment. Whoa. Uh, oh, because, yeah. Oof. What is, can you just do your job? Oh God, my life. What are you doing? Don't. If you normalize it again. What is happening? Why are you doing that? Oh, that's why. Okay. So, 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 so. I think we have to do a more uh, analyzed way of doing this. So, I'm just going to destroy all my hopes and dreams. And um, I'm just going to remove these for now. Yes. All right, I'm gonna select the lower lips here. I'm just gonna hide them. Not a smart idea. Okay, what's going on here? I'm just gonna make sure that the cheek now first is kind of done. Like it kind of makes sense. It has to make sense a little bit. Cause here, like it's heavier than on top, so I think Maybe averaging it out. Oh. Averaging it out might actually help a little bit here and there. Oops, I'm running a bit too much. There we go. All right. Now, Yeah, now we see actually that the contrast is a little bit too much. So what we're gonna do is here, get more of the cheek in, uh, until I'm happy with that, and kind of blur out the edges again. Right? Yeah. yeah, sure, that could work. And then normalize all again. Though, like, now I think because I've watched it so much that if I go to the head, does it still do it? Yeah, for instance, these are not assigned now. So what I need to do, I think, is, like, just assign the weights back here, right? Go to my cheek. Uh, nope, nope, that was not what I had to do. Okay, so it does automatically do it, okay. So what is this then? There's still some kind of weird thing that happened. Yes, it actually is. Okay, so the auto normalize feature, nice. <laughs> That's pretty nice, okay, so. I think we can now. Uh, okay, all right. What we want to do? I'm also gonna 
clean layer up. Uh, is, I'm wondering if in edit mode, no, it doesn't get hidden in weight paint. Okay. Um, hmm. Could we just um, separate it? I think maybe ah you know what what will you know what we'll do we'll add a shape key. Shape key. I'm gonna call this temp. And I'm just gonna do that. This. I'm just gonna push this down. Right. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna enable it. And I'm gonna go weight paint. Yes. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is go into our groups and do mouth upper bendy left we're gonna start weight painting we're just gonna oh that was too much just gonna select our lip here all right all right and then okay and now we can check like what's going wrong with it like this without it needing to bother us at the bottom here. Alright, All right. so. Uh, weight paint. So we can blur this out. Actually get a more evenly distributed. Right. But I'm also gonna I think I might actually move most of the upper lip fat here with it. Uh -huh. And we do kind of want, without affecting the others here. So that should be okay. Uh -huh. no, I'm just gonna blur that again. There we go. And then just in the weight paint, I'm gonna go uh, one again, and I'm gonna. All right, so we're gonna check here. That actually looks pretty good. We still have some weird things going on here, but I think it's because of this corner. All right. At what time is where you live? Uh, uh, oh, hello, Shiva Game. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, Mito asks, what time is it where you live? It is 2.59 p.m. You can actually see that on the... Oh, you cannot see because my camera's in the way. It's two. Uh, so it's 3 p.m. now. September 13, 2019. Uh, I actually live in the beautiful city of Ghent. Uh, somewhere in Belgium. It is a beautiful place. Uh, if you ever look uh, looking for a nice town to travel to, a nice European town. Oh my god, look at this, how this comes together. I mean, this is kind of a overly done expression, but it's working. Yeah, sometimes it helps just starting from the, um, starting from the bottom, now we're here. So now I'm just gonna go, and this is gonna break a little bit of everything, I think, yeah. So, because uh, I'll have to put this in, yeah, resting position. And I got weight paint. Mouth lower along the left side, all right, and then I'm just gonna go like this, all right. What we might actually even do is we go to our shape keys, we delete this shape key. Um, if you add another one, go into edit mode. Um, mm, press control. I uh, and just yeah <laughs> oh hello I'm just gonna put it on one uh, and now in weight paints we can we can maybe already see problem here right, I'm gonna hide everything here for a second. There you go. What's going on here? Uh, 
I live in Germany, so yeah, we're in the same time zone. We're time zone buddies now. Um, actually hit a, one object too many. Uh, whoops, I don't want to add that object. Just to, should put it in different collections. Like, really. I'm just gonna move this up. I mean, that, that all this crazy stuff is happening, it's normal, right? I just want to see. I mean, it looks good, right? I mean, yeah, let's, let's disable the shape key. No, let's just move it. All right, so we still see we have some issues here. And now we're gonna very carefully, because we see what the issue is here, blur that. So we're just gonna ever so slightly. And then we're just gonna move this here. Oof. And now, yeah, we're moving it back into. Okay, so I think. Yeah, yeah, so let's move it here. Right, and let's actually move her up and down her. Who? What is happening there? So that is not weight paint correctly, obviously. So we're just gonna go select the lower lip here. Hello. Uh, yeah. We kind of want to average our corner out here. Gonna save again. Never forget stream number 11. <laughs> uh, oh, so many Germans in my chat. I can actually speak German. Because uh, my uh, I'm actually bilingual. Bilingual. By Bi um, I, I speak two languages, but I can't speak the word that... Uh, uh, so I speak Dutch and German because my mom is from Germany. So this is a time consuming process, but it's a process that's totally going to be worth it. I feel it already. So I'm going to go in here and um, press brush front face only. Oh, that's off. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Just gonna. Oh, it's per brush. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so let's. Try and push everything a little bit back. Okay. Also, with the average, I kind of want to uh, brush. Okay, let's just pump this full. Okay. Nice. I guess I kind of want to also, I'm going to blur this a bit, have a little bit of a lower lip. Let's actually go to a post where we see this happening a little bit more. Uh, yeah, so this moves down. So we see that we need to move part of our um, weight paint here as well. The lower things are moving too. Good. Now actually we can see some more clarity in here. Oh my God, yes. Yes, we're almost there. I feel it. I can feel it in the water. I can smell it in the air. Long ago, the four nations lived in peace together. And suddenly the fire nation. Sorry, <laughs> I've been watching Avatar again. Maybe that's why my character looks a little bit like him. I think it's just because it's involved at the moment. That's actually like good what it's doing there. 
<laughs> I'm always hoping that a smile is gonna look great, but uh, yeah, I think that's because um, not enough of the um, yeah. I think what needs to happen here is like blur that quite a bit. Um, And now I think like, because the corner is not being um, uh, adjusted enough. So if you look at our upper, uh, it should be. But it should be a mix between the two. I mean, what we could do, what we could do is go into edit mode, right? Uh, actually first, let's go into object mode. Select everything here. Uh, go into edit mode. Select our corner here. That was our corner. There it is. And I don't want to assign it manually because it's not going to mirror, right? But we'll do it anyway. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Then I'm going to do. I don't have anything else selected, right? No. Uh, select mirror selection, select, select mirror, select mirror selection. Here we go. And I select the R pieces and assign this. Good. So now if you go back into weight paint, then that is done. Okay. So I'm just going to try this out. <laughs> Um, yeah, we kind of see, we kind of have to, uh, let's go to, a, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want it. What is happening here? Oh. Because the bones are in slightly different positions. They can never like really Although their end is at the same position, so. But they deform differently, I guess. So, what if we try to fix this actually in the rig? Right? So we have our bandy bones here, and we can see here that they get deformed like this, right? What if we. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. But on the tail, on the Y tail, not the Y tail. Uh, what is happening? Oh no, what am I saying? Bandy bone, bandy bone on the out y to actually align this like this right and do the same here um right and then <laughs> careful there I think now the problem is that once they're deformed, yeah, but maybe this is still wait, let, let's check something. So maybe the curve out x also needs to go a little bit inwards, right? Let's go in here, let's put minus that value. Now starts to look like something. We're getting closer. We're getting a lot closer. How much what am I doing? Um, very good. We're getting a lot closer now. That's uh, that's really cool. If we actually move this out, I kind of also want to get more realistic. Small. We don't want to. I mean, it's still cartoony, but um. Uh, so these problems are popping up here again. Mm. Oops. 
Bandlight logo came in place here. Okay, also, yeah, we want the things here to also move. So, oh, paint a little bit wrong there. There we go. Let's see how this looks with the teeth. Huh? Okay, let's move him back to his neutral position. some things out Ooh, hollow eyes <laughs> so one thing I should not forget is One thing I still think is happening is that his, if we smile, our lips get a lot softer. So I think, huh? One thing we could do, we could try actually, is in the bone constraints. There is something with the value that can be adjusted. Volume max, volume max, volume variation. Oh yes, that's what I was looking for. So that the volume also gets um, adjusted. Right? to there is there is a constraint for that right maintain volume yeah so I don't think we have to actually put a volume variation here so we're just gonna go select these and then uh, copy since so I maybe that was not the best huh it worked did it no it didn't Okay, volume variation on one. Okay, volume variation on one. Volume variation on one. Okay, and then uh, we want to have the maintain volume on it. Let's just test it out. Yeah, so now it kind of maintains the volume. I think that's going to help in some cases. Um, Maintain volume. All right, so let's turn this off and let's try this out. Oh my god. Was oh, that the key? Stars to look really good. I wonder what happens if I also add this to this. Uh, maintain volume. And maintain volume. Uh, right. Because then in checking this. If I move it closer, just also just swell up, right?
cool. I can. And there was this thing. I'm gonna disable the subdivision. Is there something? I mean, there's some things maybe we should maybe fix with shape keys, but there's also this smooth. I think. I think it smooths out without too much. Yeah, it definitely smooths out a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, why is it? Oh boy, this is the smooth happening, right? Um, uh, ah, after this great show, it's pretty well. Yeah, so we're watching it. After that, maybe rewatch Cora. I also like Cora much. Um, okay, what's happening? I'm receiving some messages. to a message real quick. I think these points are pretty fine of what they, they do in their own volition. Um, think quick. Can you increase the cheeks like this? Oh, that's nice. Uh, but the move, the move, the move, the move, the move. That is definitely weird. <laughs> so maybe what we can do to again Fix some issues. Let's go in here. I mean, maybe, may it might just be that um, we have to fix this in edit mode, right? I mean, the way we set up the topology here might not uh, work nicely for that. We also have a lot of topology here, and I'm not sure if we need it. I think we can make our life a lot easier if we uh, chose to uh, delete some edge loops here. <laughs> Let me just 
real quickly. Uh, not like this one seems a little bit too much out there. So, and by lowering the amount of loop cuts, and making it a little bit easier also on the weight painting and stuff. Um, so let's say that also this might seem to. Although we kind of want to keep it consistent how many detail we have in the eyes and the mouth. Um, this is still like a mess. Uh, not sure what was going on in my brain when I did this, but now <laughs> if it works, it works. Uh. But yeah, what we see happening here is that we have, we should have, we should have, what we should have done, or what should I have done? You could use a mesh deformation cage with lower poly version of the lips, which then controls the lips. That is true. I mean, you could also use a lattice, but bandy bones, man. But actually, I think, although we see this a lot like happening in loops, I think the edges of the lower lip should go inside the mouth and not corner around. And then the upper lip should actually move in a loop cut down here. But we're not going to do that because uh, we're just going to keep that in mind. We're going to write that down in my little notebook here. Just going to draw it real quick. Uh, so. Just to give you an idea. Uh, I'm gonna check if you can see this. <laughs> but basically, basically, what the idea is, is that you you have your, this is tiny, but you have your upper lips, like the, the loop cut here, and then your lower lips, uh, they just go inwards, right? Yeah, uh, and they actually cut here. And I think that that's gonna be easier to simulate this might also be because this is a mess from the start. Uh, and I think maybe one thing we want to do is gonna save. Um, although relax is not going to work. I think. No. But maybe we just want to go into sculpt mode. And go to smooth. Not scrape. Smooth. Where's my smooth? Smooth, smooth, smooth. Smooth, 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 smooth. Smooth. Oh, so I don't have my mirror on. Also, nothing is happening. What is happening? Nothing. Hello. Oh, am I? Uh oh. Ooh, I'm afraid to turn it on now. Um, I, I didn't affect anything. No, good. Okay, but it was in the shape key, but uh, luckily it was disabled. Okay, I don't want a new shape, I just want a basis. Yeah, and uh, go into sculpt mode and maybe just. And then have the inflate tool. Some of the work again. I go back into edit mode, and then if you deform it again, some of the issues got fixed. Right? So this is a lot smoother now. I think once we um, just gonna uh, to apply our subdivision. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think also I'll give him kind of a joker smile. I think like a normal smile should be around here. There we go. Let's see how he looks. Let's give him a little bit of an 
asymmetrical smile with his nose a little bit turns. Let me use eyebrow and like see his hair is a little bit moving. No, it's actually his. Let's see how it looks. So yeah, this basically should go into the face, man. And this is just starts popping up. And then we have this bone for this, so we can lift our cheek up to actually ourselves smooth this a little bit around. Scale a little bit up to compensate, although, nah. How does this look? A little bit weird, doesn't it? Oof. Oof, boy. What have you been eating? Let's try it again. It's like kind of getting to know the character and, and how he moves and how his expressions look. So let's go here. Let's, let's do it again. It looked fine up to some point. Because we do want to keep doing this subtle like, yeah. I think the, the motion of being able to rotate the lips is pretty cool. Gives a lot of, uh, Maybe just more outwards. Yeah, that's a bit better. Also learning a little bit to animate, right? It's not because you have the perfect rig that your poses are gonna look natural. Oh, let's open your eyes again, shall we? Oh, no, it's not gonna work. There you go. I'm really happy when we do the eyebrows here. It's gonna give him a lot more expression. Look at this boy. Man, the lips are still weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, well. So, um, I think maybe, maybe, maybe what should happen is that like this, all this should go away, right? And actually, we add some, like by the nose and stuff, because that's also part of the lip. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try something extreme for a second, and then check if it works on a. Uh, kind of actually looks more natural, doesn't it? Because now, it's kind of deforming towards the nose, which is a bit more natural. Right? And then I'm just looking in the mirror now. <laughs> this is also kind of natural, but um, yeah. Kind of want to extend this, maybe even that uh, as actually up till the nose it deforms. There we go. And blur it a bit. Smoothen it out. Mm. I'll keep it as a sharp eyes, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe, yeah. Drag a little bit of this with it. And then lower. Also have a little bit of a corner with it. It's a little bit better out, right? Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm gonna save this. This starts to look actually pretty good. I know I got a little bit of too much of a cheeky smile, but Look at this, look at this. Took one look in the mirror, <laughs> that's all I need. It's kind of like chewing on something, and I think that's because, um, kind of, the 
this rotation is maybe a bit weird, yeah. I think maybe like on the lower lip. Well, it's actually, if we smile, I'm doing, I'm doing weird motions with my lip to look where my lips move. <laughs> uh, Apex looking better last time I seen it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's starting to look really, really nice. So uh, I'm gonna grab my brush here. I'm gonna wait here, and I'm actually gonna paint that way. Here we go. Grab my blur tool. Let's move this out. Yeah. So now with the knowledge that we gained, I'm gonna go. And actually, shape them up again. And lower my only goes this much. Our boy winking. Give him a bit of a cheeky expression. <laughs> or, you know, we can make him sad. Let's look how he looks sad. Because I think that's maybe a little bit um, easier to do because that's like the, the mouth's natural position. So, kind of have that by default. And then open his jaw a little bit. That's a little bit too far away. Maybe his eyes should be a little bit. Uh, I think one of the eyebrows might be a bit. He's lying. Kind of scared now. But look at that. The face is covered together. It only took us like almost three hours. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that. And then all with bunny bones. Booyah. I'm going to disable the um, let's see, subdivision again. I got a little bit more feedback if you're playing around with it. Starting to look good. As long as I don't fudge too much with the, uh, the bones here, like because the uh, it might be even be that the uh, teeth are maybe a little bit too broad, and I think that might actually be it. Yeah, because I think we might need to be able to move this back here. Uh, yeah, that's it for the lower teeth as well. Apply their scale. Okay, and then one more thing. For my upper, I see that there's still some weight missing. There we go. That's already looking a lot better. I don't wanna move the back to um, the print. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Can enable the rest of the bones. 
maybe. Oh yeah, this is definitely weird. <laughs> Like maybe what we can do actually with this bone is parent it to the neck. I want to save because that just seems like something not to it. Yeah. So now if we rotate the neck, we actually rotate the head. So we can rotate the head like this, but then we can actually, and then the Y rotation, which is like this, and we can actually do a little bit of scrub and stretch here. Okay, uh, I see that of course. This should be assigned to the face. No, not the face. The head. There we go. It kind of looks evil now. Uh, uh, so that's evil. And where are so hair? Ah, there we go. Let's give him a pose. Oh my god, I always see something going wrong again. What is going on here? What is... Ah, oh, Blender. It's probably my fault, but I'm gonna blame Blender anyway. What is... Why is the... <laughs> okay. So... Little weight paint. Zero. I, I don't know why this happened, but it happened. Also, the shin has like, like here uh, vertex groups, ver vertex group groups would uh, would be a lot, a lot uh, better, right? Because we could like see, oh, okay, we have vertex groups for the face, um, and something shouldn't be in there. There we go. All right, so this. Oh, look how easy now it is to pose the guy. Oh, let's clench his fist a little bit more up. Let's give. Oh, God, what is happening? Oh, yeah, this is a skill thing. Uh, put him in somewhat of a pose. Look at the camera. It's like, haha, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it kind of looks weird. There's something really off about him. I think we're, uh... yeah, I think this is better. I think this is because of the, how the squash the stretch kind of moves his body. But... I think his smile might be also be a bit too crooked. Um, I kind of have to check how we can uh, smoothen this out a little bit. Like this, he's being kind of like he's being forced to smile. Uh, Oh, that was a happier expression. There we go. It's like, hell yeah! <laughs> this will be the new thumbnail. 
got the cheeky smile going, I know, right? Me parent the eyes control to the head. Um, I don't know. Um, I think uh, I argued this when uh, when I actually parented these. Uh, when I didn't parent these, um, is when you're moving and you're looking at something, your eyes are locked on that target. If I then animate, I think like for some shots, I might just parent them in that shot. You know, I might just switch between one and two. But I think as we're moving, our eyes keep being locked on one thing and they very, very smoothly um, move, move along. So I, I, I don't think, uh, I think it will be more beneficial if it's not parented to the head so that uh, if you move the character, I mean, I might not even parent him. I might even unparent him from the base because I might just say like, okay, I can always switch where he's looking without having to look where the character is going or have to counter animate that, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this definitely should be the thumbnail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I was saying, yeah. Um, I'm kind of noticed now that his hands are kind of small, actually. Just gonna pose them a little better. Um, just in the 2D scheme of things. Uh, Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need that. Uh, come on. What's going on? There you go. All right. <laughs> hey, it's, it's kind of at the moment looks like he has a diaper on, so we kind of have to fix that skinning as well. So we're just gonna go in view, uh, uh, viewport render image. So we have our boy here. I'm gonna go image, save as, we're pose reference, boy, I'm just gonna call this here too. All right, so now we have our second reference and we kind of have a pose that we like. Uh, just put him in a random pose, but like the face looks nice, right? So we have our face we're kind of uh, in place now. Might be that uh, we still do some fixes later on, but um, wow, it's almost four o'clock already. Yeah, we, uh, A. Scott, yeah, we could use this constraint. Um, but then again, like, why have an extra object as a constraint if I can just free the bone, right? Um, I mean, it's, it's just taking a detour for the same result. When trying to make it look natural, you just gotta add in that random squash and stretch for the body. Um, well, yeah, I mean, not random, but uh, I kind of sometimes like, <laughs> like how the eyes get squashed as well. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> Should make this a thumbnail. How you doing? It's it's kind of cool to work with these squashing screw stretch stuff because it it suddenly feels so much more um, uh, 2D. So let's get him another pose real quick. I'm just gonna put him in a disinterested pose. Like he, he's being a little bit sassy and stuff. Uh, did I? Okay. Um, he might be leaning a little bit here. Leaning his body this way. So it basically this could be like. So let's try that, man. Right? Um. Oh, so we kind of see here, we kind of, uh, hmm. 
gonna have to move your shoulder because if you do like this, yeah, your shoulder kind of moves quite a degree. And then, yeah, this is gonna make more sense. Whoa! That didn't. Come on, no, no. Ah! I'm starting to question my uh, decisions of actually locking the hand like that. Like this, kind of cupping a little bit, bring the thumb up, and be like, uh, I'm gonna open the eyes, but not too much. It's gonna be kind of like disinterested. Open the lower ones though. Just gonna look off to the side. Uh, I don't want to add a little bit more. Um, let's make them a little bit smaller. Uh, there we go. Um, I don't know, we can very subtly add that squash. And then we still have to add shapes for the bones. We'll do that once I'm done playing. Like, there's a, there's a kind of wanna. Giving that power stance, you know. Um, oh god, my mouse was. Start. I have the shoulder a little bit more exaggerated. I like this is why I like this uh, the way I set up the rig. Um, there you go. Look at him being all sassy. <laughs> so it's coming quite together. So I'm gonna do another view viewport render. Um, I'm gonna save this as zero three. All right, do a severe landing pose combined with a smile. <laughs> okay, just for you, Key. Uh, all right, let's try that. So I, I have to look up reference for them, and I think we're gonna have super landing. I think we're gonna see a lot of the uh, issues that we still have. Oh, which one though? Oh yeah, this one, definitely this one. Uh, so, we can kind of test that. Um, they have to kind of, this position, the one foot is kind of off here. I think I have to put it a little bit lower. Oof, uh, move the, the, the knee position here. Uh, like this. Goes a little bit out more in front. Oh no, this actually goes off to the side. And then we have one shoulder. I, I think we should kind of move. Uh, yeah, the entire body like this. One shoulder goes down low uh, with the hand touching floor there we go so that we need to actually full-on stretch this arm oh weird stuff's happening it's gonna be like this yeah this instance uh, inverse kinematics would have been nice for the uh, uh, and then and this one is gonna be like it's a nice suggestion because putting him in difficult poses really shows like how far are we with the rig and how far do we still have to go and what what do we need to add what's still missing you know um because like it's always very easy to say oh the rig is done uh we're done i'm gonna check where the camera is uh, uh, it's kind of moving a little bit up. 
Doesn't matter, we don't have a floor anyway. And then have our eyes open. Uh, in this instance, it might be nice to disable some of the bones. Uh, it's gonna look super serious. <laughs> I'm gonna be smiling. It's like a cheeky smile, you know. Something is going on here. I don't know. Yeah, and we see, for instance, like the hand is. There's still some uh, things we we could fix with that. Uh, but I think partly just because it's kind of in a weird position. I think it's a bit more natural. There we go. We can even maybe uh, swoosh the hair a little bit. Uh, well, maybe the back hair, not that much. Man. Uh, there we go. And now we kind of see like that th th there's this weird thing going on with his cheekbones and we can kind of investigate uh, what is up with that, right? And we can kind of see here, okay, we kind of puff out the cheeks and we kind of see uh, uh, all of, uh, yeah, now we see kind of like what's going on here and we can go Whilst we're experimenting, we can go in here, check the cheek, check what's going on. Jaw, mouth. Uh, and I think maybe it might be. No. I think we might we just. Uh, yeah, so the issue is that maybe there's too much. Oof. There's definitely a not, uh, something else influencing this. So, not sure what it is. Uh -huh. But yeah, it, it doesn't make sense that this would happen. Maybe if we do weights, normalize all. No, doesn't do anything. Doesn't matter. We'll fix it next time because we're almost running out of time. But uh, one issue we can already fix it by a move. And then something definitely goes wrong here. Um, just like figuring out. Maybe we went a bit too extreme with the cheeks here. I didn't really put these ones in smiles. So actually. Yeah. That is in a more correct position. We see that something is going on here with the weights. I think something is affecting it. Something that shouldn't be affecting it. Yeah, it's definitely this bone. There's something going on with the rigging, uh, with the weight painting. So if we check here, all are, yeah. Uh, I think it's just the uh, cheek being a little bit smudgy here. I think it might be better. It goes like this. All right, let me blur a little bit. There we go. And then we kind of overdid this bone a little bit. I think. But then, yeah, part, part as being a rigger is then to figure out what is going wrong. And if we overextend this, see that the issue doesn't pop up here. If we, yeah, I think this might have to do with the actual corner. If we go into weight paint and check the, yeah, then I think we can maybe uh, move it on a bit. More here. Uh, and then, yeah. You know, usual stuff. But that, that of course, uh, still needs fixing. And, uh, yeah, and then what you could do with it. 
So of course go completely off track. Uh, and lights. Give us some lighting where it looks good. <laughs> uh, I can't see my light, so I'm not sure what's happening. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna actually just. Uh, there you go. Not this one. Oh, wait, I'm adjusting, not the light. There was something which was going on. I just go completely overboard with experimenting. You know, sometimes you gotta have some fun. Because if if you ain't having fun, then what's the point, right? There you go. In perfect flat lighting, we might add an HDRI to like the reflections of the eyes. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. Uh, can we check some other HDRIs? Uh, this uh, uh, studio one kind of looks cool. Ooh, can I add the reflection here. <laughs> there you go. So, there's still some issues with the face that we have to fix. Uh, but that'll be for next time. Next time we'll also um, fix the skinning on the clothes, go further with that, do some more poses. Um, I think I might just back to this one. It's the prettiest one. Uh, yeah, and then actually move also to texturing so that the eyes also look a little bit better. Let's see how we see here that. Um, uh looks awesome thanks scott looks really good yeah thanks i'm gonna try not to be too judgy on everything and <laughs> yeah there's definitely something wrong with these wounds right anyway you got your superhero pose there you go <laughs> so he's iron man now <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching so much. Uh, we had a lot of viewers coming up today. Um, as always, like and share this video if you like it. If you want to share it with your friends. Um, uh, click the bell button to get notified for the next stream. Um, I love your faces. Uh, and see you on Monday. Uh, also, don't forget, my Patreon is in the description. Or if you want to do super chats, if you want to support the channel. Um, I can't do this for uh, some time uh, still uh, and I really like doing it so it's really nice so thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye